Hello fellow simmers, it's Samuel Beeman here of BLS and I've decided to do a new set of videos called BLS Discusses. In this video we're going to be discussing what, well, me and the team and other members of the train sim community have noticed on the Armstrong Powerhouse website. They have now discontinued all of their sound packs apart from the class 52 and class 92 locomotives. Which is a very alarming thing, to be honest, because it gives us a little bit of a debate on what's going on. Because some of us think that there could possibly be new locomotive packs for diesels coming out. But then there is also some neglections of that as well. So what are my thoughts and views about this? So it's interesting and, and honestly it is quite exciting because it would be fantastic to have new loco models in Train Simulator. And I do know that Master Key Simulations has been working on a Class 47 model for quite some time. So it's going to be no surprise that a Class 47 pack will be coming out very soon on the AP website. Because it has been in production for many years and I do think that this particular locomotive pack will probably be the next one to come out on the Armstrong Powerhouse website. And that's just our guess, really. And also, judging by the trailer of the class 377, 379 and 387 enhancement pack, around 7.48 minutes into the video, you see him typing in a number in the driver's ID. Now, this number is 47787. And if you search it up on Google, you'll find that that actually is the exact number for a West Coast Railways Class 47 loco. So, could this be an Easter egg for an upcoming pack? I think it could be. So, that is the reasons to why I think that the Class 47 is not too long round the corner. In other thoughts and opinions of this, it could also be another stunt like the Class 40. Uh, they could have just turned around and thought, right, our sound packs are severely outdated, we just want to remove them from the website altogether and then just wait until we've done locomotive packs. Which I do think is the more likely answer to, what, to why this has happened. Because... Why would you discontinue the class 55, 57, 20, 33 and 47 all at once f just to rack out a load of loco packs? Because you wouldn't rack out loco packs in a week. You wouldn't have that many loco packs coming out <laughs> or enhancement packs. So that's why it comes to my attention that I think it's more likely to be another class 40 stunt where they think it is too outdated to continue sale. <sighs> and to be honest, I'm going to put my thoughts to the Class 40 in this video as well. I wasn't too impressed by the fact that the Class 40 was discontinued on the Armstrong Powerhouse website, because in all honesty, it's not that outdated. It is still relatively modern, because it was released in 2015, which really wasn't that long ago. And the only real difference between that and the Class 37s and Class 50 is the fact that it doesn't have the, obviously, enhanced clag. It doesn't have the clag factor or the motor factor. Uh, the rest of it was all pretty advanced and still in the exact same league as the 37 and Class 50. So, in all honesty, there was, there was, no, there was no real reason for this. I mean... It, it did have a few sound bugs, especially when TS updated to 64-bit. Uh, it had a sound issue, which did get a patch. He did patch it, and it did actually work. So it's not like it, it didn't work, because it did. It ended up, obviously, he updated it, and the sounds ended up working. Um, so, yeah, so I don't really understand the, you know, the concept to why... Armstrong Powerhouse decided to do this and decided to discontinue the 40. But again, this is why it has come to my attention that it could just be the fact that the sound packs are outdated and he's just decided to discontinue them just because, well, 
he feels like it and he feels that they're just too outdated to be on sale. So, as I say, it is a question that is, well, that needs to be answered really. I mean, Armstrong Powerhouse, if you're watching this video, then please do let us know why you've discontinued the sound packs. What is the reason for this? Are you making new EPs or new locomotive packs? Are they coming out soon? Uh, why the sudden throwing away of all of the sounds? It's very interesting. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think of, of this, this, this thing that AP have done. And uh, yeah, just let us know really. I say we've got many questions about this. There's going to be so many questions that are going to be asked about this to why they've done it. And as I say, there is a debate going on to um, obviously suggest that they might be doing locomotive packs. But again, I'm not too sure because why would they discontinue all of those sound packs? There's just too many to discontinue if you're going to be doing all of these loco packs. You wouldn't rack them out really quickly like that or, you know, or any enhancement packs. But I suppose it's something that we've got to see for the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, let me know if you like these BLS discussions. And I might do some more in the future. So this has been Samuel Beeman of BLS. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.